Good evening, Keto and Wrestling family. Matt Troyes here with another live stream. Tonight of the Hall of Fame induction ceremony live. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How is everyone doing tonight? Tonight, we honor seven amazing individuals into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame induction ceremony. So how's everyone doing tonight? We are live. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Well, we have a huge night planned here tonight because the first time, for the first time in history, we will induct the main event, the headliner of the Hall of Fame induction ceremony first instead of last here tonight. So they will be coming on first here tonight. The Hall of Fame induction ceremony live here. So everybody in unison, please welcome our very first guest, who is the headliner of this year's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Everybody. Join me in unison in welcoming and congratulating the main event, the headliner, Keto Mike. Good evening. How are you? Oh, am I muted? Mike, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, welcome. 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 Uh, to the Hall of Fame. I, I Thank appreciate you. you taking me early because I I'm recovering from COVID and I'm I'm about beat. <sighs> really? Oh, I, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, geez. I feel better. It's just gets you really tired come the end of the day. Oh, geez, and uh, sorry, sorry you got it. Is this the first time you ever got it? That I know of. I when it first came, but well, like. January or February of uh, 2020, I got really bad sick, and they didn't know anything about COVID. And about a month after I got sick and had gotten well, they started coming out with it. And I'm going, hmm, you tested negative for the flu. What do you want to bet you had it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you never – yeah, I mean, it has similar symptoms to the flu. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry you got it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's – I'm telling you, I, I've had a weak version of it, a mild version. By golly, it's still rough. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, it's great that you're coming back, though, right? After, I am. Uh, yeah, I am. That's, that's good. It, yep. And that's so thank good. You. I'm honored oh. to be here. Yeah. Well, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, how did you find this, the channel? I found the channel just uh, when I first started to look at doing keto and all and I, I started looking on the internet and on youtube and trying to find the different things that were out there showing uh, about how keto was and i saw your channel and it talked about keto and wrestling and i was man in my younger days you couldn't have found a more rabid wrestling fan anywhere and i'm, I'm going back to the 1960s I, I i used to watch live events in macon georgia and and uh griffin georgia and such as that and i even worked uh security at some of the events that they would have at, at uh, Griffin in the 70s and 80s. So I saw that and I said, this is the channel for me. I said, <laughs> got me written all over it. Wow, that's great. So, uh, so yeah, it was the best of both worlds then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, because I remember you, I don't even know how many subscribers I had back then, but I, I think like you had I don't less know. Five K. You had less, less than five K. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, I remember. And then uh, you you were on the you would check out all my keto videos, and you yep. were on some of the live streams too. And yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that during those uh, those COVID days where. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a I I had a ball watching you lives when you would cook and have breakfast and talk that was a lot of fun oh yeah yeah absolutely i mean uh it was it's was, it was just a, a amazing to have have uh 
fans like you on the on the stream and uh, the channel. You know, I appreciate it. You know, watching my content and stuff, I really do. Thank you, Mike. Well, you're very welcome. And I, I even threw you out a challenge one time, and you came right back with a winner. Oh uh, yeah, I, I hit I hit you up with hey make make a, a, a keto calzone and doggone it, you did it. Oh yeah, yeah I did. I mean, uh, it was tough, but I did do it. Yeah, I, uh, I think you'd also uh, fried green tomatoes. I did. Yeah, I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fried green tomatoes. Okay. Yeah, Th- those are pretty good too. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I-, I know back then I had so much free time in my hands. Like I was doing new recipes every day, mm-hmm. and then, <laughs> and then, you know, it's I had to go back to work after. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I was on vacation, so yeah, I, I didn't have much time to do many recipes anymore. And yeah, the real world, yeah. the, the real world uh, awaits us all eventually. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I, you know, I had some of the best times ever on. Uh, I call it the vacation, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I know a lot of pe- a lot of people. I know it, it, it hurt a lot of people, but yeah. and you know, uh, I'm fortunate enough not. To have been hurt by it, uh, and in my immediate family too. So I, I was fortunate enough for that. And yeah, the the only thing that happened was yeah, yeah like I lost my job, but uh, <laughs> I yeah. still, you know, I, I was okay, you know, because I was on unemployment for like I don't know almost two years. So it was like a vacation for me. So I was just hanging out. <laughs> you made the best of a bad situation. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I, I, how did it go for you? It I worked completely through it. I, I didn't miss anything. I was constantly working. Uh, I I worked uh, at that time. I worked for the city of Atlanta, and uh, I was considered one of their essential employees. So oh. we we uh, we had no rest. We <laughs> we, we, went in, <laughs> we went in, and uh, I dealt with the public, and I I was telling my wife Paige, I said, here we are. I, she worked through it also. We worked all through COVID. We've traveled to New York, uh, Rhode Island, uh, Las Vegas, and spring training and baseball down there this year. And all, we did all this traveling. Didn't catch COVID, but just Going around town here, we caught COVID. Well, we know when she caught it. It was at the airport. She was trying to fly out to Rhode Island. So, oh, I'm I like, see. Wow. Avoided it all that time and then catch it this way. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. You know, uh, you know, I, uh, I got it at when it first came out. Like, I got it when it first came out, and I don't know. Like, within a few days, I was okay, but um, I was home then. Right. And then I got it again when I went back to work. And mm. yeah, so it was, uh, and that was worse. I think I got the Omicron then or something like it was, re- it, I was bad for like a week. And then I, I didn't get my voice back for like a month after that. Yeah. During this, I've had congestion, cough, headaches, body aches, like you wouldn't believe. Um, but no fever, none. No, I had no fever, and uh, wow. uh, we got Rory asking Rory too. Is it Rory too? Yeah, Rorito. Rorito. Okay, he's asking, uh, is my family supportive on uh, of my keto lifestyle? Yes, it. They are. They are. Uh, they're really understanding of it, uh, and I. I'm greatly appreciative of it. My wife and I both do keto together. So, and we got just Jason keto in here. Uh, let's see. What do the friends say of me doing keto? Well, some of it, when you first start, that's the thing. When I've gone up to friends and, and seen them after not seeing them in a while, and they'll see how much weight I've lost, which is over a hundred pounds. And they'll, and they'll say, wow, you look great. What, and I said, thank you, thank you. And I said, oh, well, what you, what are you doing? I said, well, you know, I changed the way I eat and all. And they said, oh, well, how, what'd you change? I said, well, they said, you didn't go keto, did you? And I said, <laughs> well, yeah. And they said, why? It's so bad for you. You just said I look great. 
<laughs> and well, you know, it's not sustainable. I said, I've been doing it six years now. When does this unsustainability start kicking in? Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's you know, that's the that that's the thing with them. And finally, and they, I've had a couple of them end it. Say, well, if you're not going to be reasonable about it, I won't even talk to you about it. And I'm like. How am I not being reasonable? You're the one that says I'm looking great and then says I'm going to kill myself doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. They, they, they come out of the woodwork, you know, when you tell them you're doing keto. But uh, they don't do anything when they see you eating McDonald's or uh, going out eating fast food and everything. They, they just let you do it, you know. But then when, when you start trying to take control of your, your health, then they're like, oh, yeah. wait a second. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. You get a lot of people like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My favorite Red Sox players, Rorito, is, uh, let's see, Carl Yastrzemski. I'm a Yaz fan. Um, Carlton Fisk uh, and uh, Jim Rice, which I also, I got to see a couple of games on TV in the early, 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 late, well, late in his career, but early in my life of Ted Williams on TV. So I was a Ted Williams fan also. Oh. And that, and I also, I, I do have some Yankees that I'm fans of, too, so that I'm a fan of. So <laughs> you know, I, I just like good baseball. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> he's, let's see. He's asking what pros and cons of it. Uh, pros, you feel so much better. Uh, but the cons is when you – if you go into it with the idea of losing weight, which is what I did, you went into it with the wrong attitude. You need to go into it with the idea of getting healthy and changing your eating habits and things like that. Because if you just do it for uh, the weight loss, when you hit a plateau or you hit a stall, you, you might get dis uh, discouraged. The weight loss should be an added benefit to it. So, and I look at it this way. If you do hit a plateau or you do hit a stall and you haven't lost any weight, additional weight, if you haven't put any on, you got a winner. You've hit a winner. So as long as you didn't put on, just let, work through the stall and you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, oh, There's just Jason Keto. Yep. I like <laughs> Jason. Jason's a good friend. Yeah, he's, he's great. And then uh, – <laughs> Rory yeah. says, have you ever done the paleo diet? I have not. I have not done the paleo diet. I've heard some good things about it. I've, since I've been sick with keto, I've been kind of doing carnivore. Oh, um, carnivore. Wow. Yeah, that, that's that's good, right? How yeah, do you feel? I, I feel, as uh, far as eating-wise, I felt, I felt good. But, you know, yeah. it, it was mainly yeah. because I didn't really feel like fixing any kind of vegetables. I was just wasn't feeling it. And so I just did some kind of, a, I, I've been living on chicken and eggs for the last week and a half. So. Oh, hey, you know, yeah, wow. That's, that's, that's pretty I'm helpful. Got, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting that bird coming and going. <laughs> you know, knocking it out both ways. Well, you know, I, I did paleo. I, I did it for, uh, <coughs> I, I was trying to do it for 30 days, mm -hmm. paleo. And, it was like a paleo challenge. After like the thirteenth day, I I was getting heart palpitations, and oh, wow. I yeah I almost That's went to scary. the hospital. Yeah, That's because scary. well, with, with paleo, your main source of energy is coming from carbs. Right. So it's not it's different than keto because right. keto it's it's fat. So literally, like half your calories are coming from carbs. So I. I what I was doing was I was eating like for a keto meal, but I would add fruit to it. And then uh, in the afternoon or in the nighttime, I would have like sweet potato and sometimes potatoes with the meal. And I would eat a bunch more fruit. And it's, it's weird because I was only adding fruit and like root vegetables to it yeah. and and i was i was getting the same effect as if i was eating like a, a candy bar it was weird yeah. like yeah that's weird. that's weird yeah yeah man 
yeah so i don't know it's uh, so yeah I, I i had to bail out after day 13 because i was gonna yeah i don't know what was, like my conditions were coming back or something like my blood pressure or something like it was weird that's yeah that's yeah i don't blame you i'd have kicked that i'd have kicked paleo to the curb too i haven't had any desire to do it you know uh to go paleo to do it i i might try it one day i don't know yeah, yeah i mean yeah I'm not officially eating carnivore right now. I'm just, that just happens to be what I'm eating because that's what I feel like eating. Oh, um, yeah. But uh, he asks, is peanut butter, Rory, uh, Rorito asks if peanut butter is keto. Depends on what kind you get. Uh, but you got to watch the carbs in them because the carbs in peanut butter can add up in a hurry. Uh, if you're a hardline keto person, they'll say no to peanut butter right off the bat because it's a legume it's not a nut and they'll say you're better off to eat a nut and a nut butter other and but you know if you do it in moderation you're okay it's just you want to try and watch out because there's a lot of them have sugar added to it if you get the sugar the nut ones with a sh no sugar in it and the natural ones where you got to stir it up those are better for you yeah you cut yeah, down but, a lot of the problems. Maybe uh, you ever tried PB two? I have. I like it. I like yeah. PB two, and and I like their sugar free version of it too. It's good. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I mean, uh, and you could control like how much you want. Mm -hmm. like, I, right. I, I, yeah. It's a, whole, it's a whole lot easier to control how much you get of it than you do of the regular jar of that peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, popcorn. What about popcorn on keto? That's that's uh yeah, no. yeah. yeah that's too many carbs. That's a yeah. lot of carbs. Yeah. Even if it says skinny pop on it, look at the carb count on there, man. It's out the it's out the roof. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know who to, who determined that it is uh skinny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the fitness industry, you know, they're putting keto on everything. <laughs> oh boy. I got something I want to do. If I ever meet the person who created the, uh, who is the person that uh, makes the uh, final decision on what's uh, keto friendly and what's not, I'm going to, when I'm, if I meet him, I'm going to punch him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or at least right between the eyes. You know? Yeah. I'll yeah, like... see it coming. I won't blindside him. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Cause this, uh, that's the biggest hoax that there ever was on the planet. Oh yeah, definitely. Is keto good for a hypoglycemic like me? It's mm. a good you, question. A hypoglycemic. That means you're prone to low blood sugars. Yeah. So, um, it can be if, but you got to monitor and make sure that you're, you know, that cause you're still going to get some carbs and, uh, but just be watchful of what you're getting because of it. But it can be good for you if you manage it right, because you are you're going to replace the carbs that you were getting from uh, the starchy vegetables with carbs from the green leafy vegetables and the cruciferous vegetables and the things like that. So it's not to say it's good or bad. It, any of this is according to how you approach it. And how you how you watch it, and how you monitor it, and how your body reacts. Yeah, I'd I'd say go on the higher end, like uh, have more carbs, and see how you react. Like stay around like the fifty fifty grams uh, a day, and right. yeah, like don't don't go very very low carb. Like uh, I mean, from my experience, uh, the lower carb I went, the better I felt, yeah. but. But uh, yeah, for you too, right, Mike? Or yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I could yeah. tell. I whenever I would have more carbs than I should, I could tell it. You could tell. It. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, yeah me too. Can, oh, it hits you, and it hits you good too. But uh, he asked, "Is it dangerous for him to eat five glazed donuts from Krispy <laughs> Kreme?" Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's that's uh, that qualifies as dangerous for two reasons. One, I want one. Yeah, because <laughs> Krispy Kreme is the king of the donut. Oh yeah, yeah, they now, got some I, good I, stuff. I'll give, I'll give the 
Dunkin' Donuts people there do. They they got a better cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. But but the Krispy Kreme, man, that's the donut, that's the donut of kings right there. Even though they, I know Kato, uh uh Jason, just Jason Keto, Jason would probably say, No, 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 it's it's Tim Hortons. Well, he said KC. KC is so tasty. <laughs> Doubles and triples. Yeah, Rory, you could have those, but don't have them with the bun. Yeah, leave you, the bun off. Yeah, ha- have it with a lettuce wrap. I mean, believe, it, believe it or not, in Las Vegas, they got a restaurant there called the Cardiac Cafe where they serve you a burger that's like this this tall and it's got layers and all in it and bun and, uh, and it's, it's just like 12 hamburger bun patties in there and everything you can imagine on it. And if you take out the bun on each end, that's actually keto. That's, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but you will not want to eat all that because you will be so full. <laughs> it won't even be funny, but you know, you, there's a very if you take off that top and bottom bun, very few carbs in that. Very few. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could you could totally do that. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you could you could pretty much do keto in almost every restaurant. You know. Yeah. You just, yeah. You exactly. Just... I, I I haven't found a place yet that I couldn't eat something in. Maybe even, but it would be tough probably in a pizza joint. But other than that, yeah, like. Even there, you can find yeah. something. I hey, worst comes to worst, what I've done in pizza places is I've taken the pizza and just pulled all the toppings off and put it on a on a plate. And oh, had a, left pizza the bread. bowl, right? Had a pizza bowl and a salad. And That's actually was good. Great. You know, everything was great. I I mean, yeah, the the breading part is good on the on it, but you know, for me, the the draw of a pizza has always been the the toppings. Right. You know, right. Now, I, I'll grant you, I'm probably in the minority on that. The people will say, oh, no, the bread's the thing. And I, I t- like pe- uh, potatoes. People say, how can you give up potatoes? I can't give up potatoes. I love potatoes. I say, do you really love potatoes? Can you just <laughs> sit down and eat a plate of potatoes with nothing on it? And then, <laughs> now I'm going to put all this other stuff on it. I said, so you're telling me that it's not the potatoes you're in love with. It's everything that goes on the potatoes. Yeah. I said, just put everything that goes on the potatoes on the cauliflower or on the broccoli or something like that. Oh, yeah. That, that, that would be delicious. Yeah. I mean, you put sour cream, but bacon, yeah. whatever, you, whatever you want to put on it. Yeah. Exactly. Taco Bell, they got like power bowls there, Rory. Uh, Taco Bell. They do. They do. Just tell them to leave the, the beans off of it and the, and the rice and Get, and you can ask for extra of certain things, like the, if you want extra lettuce or you want extra uh, whatever, you know, that have them put the extra on there and leave those others off. Yeah, McDonald's. Well, you know, uh, Z, just a burger with a like a on a bed of lettuce with tomato, onion, pickles. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's not many options, but I'd say that's probably the, your best bet. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can you can go through the McDonald's line and say, uh, I want to order a la carte if it, on the drive through and say, I just want to order three quarter pounder patties. Mm-hmm. And they'll say you just that. And it's not going to be the cost of the sandwich. You'll get it for a different price because you're, you're buying it a la carte. But uh, Rorito says he just ate a <laughs> Loaded baked potato is that is that good? Well, uh, I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it would be bad for me. <laughs> that, 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 you know, because I say you do you, but if you're trying to do keto, that's gonna eat up a lot of your carbs for one day. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think even that might be your whole day right there. Yeah, Just exactly. A yeah. potato, yeah. I mean, yeah. and that'll probably spike your blood sugar too. I mean, yeah, forget it. I mean, Puerto Rico you, Taco Bell does not have power bowls. Man, that sucks. Wow. You know, uh, I've heard you could even eat potato raw on keto. 
but I don't know how well, appetizing. You know, Steve over there at Serious Keto, he did some some really good and interesting videos where he uh, looked at resistant starch and uh, eating the potato, uh, just cook it and eat it. And mm -hmm. then he also, he had it at where you cool it and eat it to see what the difference in the glycemic response was. Yeah. And there was a marked difference. It, it, and, you know, it wasn't like earth shattering, but it had a pretty good different effect, you know, where he might get a spike of up to 60 or something. He got a, maybe it went to 30 or so instead with the, as a resist it, because it, something about cooking, letting it chill and reheating builds resistant starch in rice and potatoes and things like that. Bread, if you freeze the bread and then, and then thaw it out, there's something about it that just, it, it affects the way the carbs response to your body, but you know, you're still going to get a hit on it if you're not careful. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure it'll blunt some of the effect though, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, and me personally, I've, I've been, experimenting with like green bananas like uh mm -hmm. not not that ripe like uh like in between and mm -hmm. uh they're not they don't even taste sweet like they're right. just they just uh the starch and uh but uh it has a lot of resistant starch so yeah. it's not yeah like i've been putting those in the smoothies to thicken them up and it's yep. been pretty good i mean uh those that if you're going to eat a banana, the green ones are the best choice or the ones that are just, they haven't gotten really right to have that high sugar content. Yeah. That's your best choice for sure. But you're more in a maintenance mode right now, aren't you? Right now? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I, I'm probably around like 40 to 50 grams of carbs a day. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I'm doing fine. Like, you know, even on the weekends I may have like, um, may go off here and there for like a meal or two right right you, like, you got a more liberties because you're at your target and so you can play with it a little more easily and i get yeah that. and that's that's a wonderful feeling there yeah yeah like just to have that flexibility and you know when when i go out and stuff like it, mm -hmm. if i'm if i'm going out to a party or something or a, you know a family get together i could you know i have carbs to, like i I'll be fine. And uh, just as long as I don't make it like a, like a whole like weekend and uh, <laughs> all yeah. Day, yeah. then, then I, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put the weight right back on. Oh, like if yeah. I, if, if, yeah, like forget it. I mean, it, it, it'll pretty fast too. Pretty fast yeah. too. We got King Patriot 12. What can I eat from Burger King? You could eat as long as don't get anything just breaded. Uh, uh if you're going to get a burger, get the, tell them to hold the bun. And if it comes with like the onion straws on it or something like that, you want them to tell them to hold the onion straws or the onion rings. You can't get the fries uh, or the onion rings because they're breaded and they, they hold a ton of carbs in them. So, you, yeah. you know, you want to just go with the, uh, the meat without uh, any bread on it. But uh, with all the, you can get all the toppings except for the ones that are breaded. Uh, now Hardee's, you can actually order it as low, the hamburger as low carb. They'll fix you any burger they got on their menu and, or any sandwich they've got on their menu in a low carb fashion, meaning they'll put it in a lettuce wrap. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That, and you know, I think, what is it? Carl's Jr. is the other version of car of Hardee's that you have on, I think one's like West coast and one's East coast or something like that. But, um, you know, you've got uh, uh, the, you know, is the fra Frappuccino slush slushies? Frosties. Frosties. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, frappuccino, as long as there's no sugar in what you got in it. Oh, yeah. Sugar, you... Sugar's the devil. Yeah. <laughs> and is yogurt keto, is some, as Dino Man's asking, is that... that it it can be keto. It depends on what uh, is in it, what you what they put in it. Uh, if it's got fruit in it, like peaches or bananas or something like that, it's going to be high in carbs. So you want to check your carb content and try and get the lowest possible and no sugar added as well. Yeah. Um, and I find there's two. There's a the 
what is it? Chobani, zero sugar. That's a good one. And uh, the other one is, um, oh, what is the other one? It's uh, Too Good Yogurt. Oh, Too, too good. good. Yeah. Now, they don't have near the distinctive taste as the others, but that's because they don't have the added sugar. So I I, I kind of like Faye. Faye uh, yogurt. Yeah, that's got a good one. It's got, they got a good one. I like it. They got yeah. a good one. But Keith, uh, seafood, uh, I think just about any seafood's keto. As long as it's not breaded, yeah, any of it. Yeah, yeah, just about, yeah. I'll tell you, broil it, bake it, pan sear it, you know, as long as you don't put any breading on it. And if you do put breading on it, use a pork rind breading or something similar. Or oh, I have good luck with using uh, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese instead of uh, uh, panko or something like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's KFC. Well, I don't know if they still do their grilled chicken. They do here. At least I got it here and I just had it the other night because they do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did do you know Brock Lesnar is doing, I guess he's talking about Brock Lesnar. I did not know that he was doing it. Yeah. Brock Lesnar's on keto. Yeah. He does keto. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That he does cool. it. Actually, a lot of wrestlers do keto, and yeah, yeah, a lot of them like just like that's how they stay in such a phenomenal shape, like on the road, and mm -hmm. yeah, like uh, yeah, like some of them, and some of them are, are following low carb, like they're really watching what you know the, their carb intake, and yeah, like uh, that's how you stay, that's how you stay fit, you know. Uh, yep, yeah. and I didn't know LeBron James was doing it too. Yeah, LeBron James. Yeah, a, a I lot of that. Wow, a lot of athletes. Lightning. Yeah, a lot of athletes. A lot of athletes are doing keto. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's why Brock is angry all the time. Danny Slayton says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, give me my carbs. Yeah. <laughs> why did I give him an Arnold accent? I don't know. But you used to do security for uh, shows, right? Wrestling shows. I did. Uh, there were uh, that it was back in the seventies and early eighties, late seventies, early eighties. I was working at a police department down that way, and uh, we would. There were three of us that were on three different shifts, and when they would have the show on Saturday night, according to whose shift was working, we'd change shifts every eight weeks and according to whose shift was on and uh, who could, if you were working the day shift, it would be hard to get off and then come around and come back. And if you were working, so I'm sorry, uh, evening shift, you couldn't work it cause you get off too late for it. Midnight shift, you got to go in at 11. So if you work in the day shift, you got to work the, the wrestling event. And we used to, we would escort the wrestlers uh, to and from the ring and, and we would also uh, escort them to their vehicles. And, yeah, there were some folks that wanted to get rough with them. <laughs> and, and, I, you know, they, they would come out. One would come out. The bad guy would come out at this door over here. And the good guy would come out on the, the baby face over here on the other side. But underneath the stands where the dressing room is, it's just one big room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they – uh, I, I saw – one of the other security folks asked him, said, said, what do you, I didn't realize wrestling was, was fake. And boy, they taught him a lesson. <laughs> and they said, you, uh, what makes you think it's fake? And they said, they said, watch this. And they put him in a hold and they said, get out of it. <laughs> and they, he put him out. I mean, he, wow. You know, like, you know, oh, he was dude. out. He was out and nothing flat. And, Shoot, uh, yeah, that, that was back in the day. Yeah, well, I, I was back. They were trying to protect the business back then. What's the best yeah. experience you have with a wrestler? Uh, probably, probably was Abdullah the Butcher. He, he, um, there was some guy that. Wanted, he, he thought he had gotten a bad bump or something from him and he hit him a little stiff and 
and uh, with one of the other wrestlers, not with Abdullah. And Abdullah was standing there, and the two of them got into it on the on the floor there. And Abdullah, I went to uh, in the rest of the dressing room, and they're wallowing around on the floor, going at each other, and and all because he'd been a little stiff with him, and and uh, it was a younger guy and an older guy. So, and the younger guy had been too stiff with the older guy, and he was teaching him a lesson. And so he's, I I was going to, I'm young and dumb. And I said, okay, I got to break this up. Abdullah put his hand on my, on me. And I'm telling you, the man is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he put his hand out and he said, no, 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 no. (laughs) And I said, but what if one of them gets hurt? He said, we'll stop it before it gets to that point. (laughs) (laughs) And I said, Okay, he said, you jump in there now, you'll be part of it. And, then, <laughs> and I said, well, I don't want to be part of it. He goes, we, we got this. I said, well, what if one of them wants to press charges? He said, ain't none of them going to press charges. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it's all good. We got it. You know, sure enough, a couple of minutes later, they had both fought and all enough, and they got them separated, and everything was good. Wow. Hey, that's, that's that's pretty good, you know. Uh, I mean, but you're, you're a pretty big guy too, right? Are you like six four or something? Uh, at that time, I was six two and three quarters. I'm about six feet now because I have shrunk. Wow, really? Yeah, but Abdullah, wow. he's not real tall, but he's huge. I mean, just wide he, as he, a doorway. He's a big guy. Yeah. yeah, and he he actually at one time I don't know if he still owns it or not, but he had a restaurant here in Atlanta over in the West End Mall. Oh, and, I don't. I don't know if he still owns that. I don't know. I don't think he does. But okay, but he he, I've eaten there lots of times. It's a it's a buffet, but it's not. It's like a meat and three. You get a meat and three vegetables, or two meat and two vegetables, and that kind of thing. Oh, okay. and uh, he um, it, when folks would come in, he's got pictures of himself up on the wall and all, and he folks would come in and he would be in there, and he his health is really bad now. I don't even. I, I, I don't even know if he's still alive. Yeah, he uh, they just had a Dark Side of the Ring episode oh, about okay. him. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I don't know if you have, if you know of the channel Vice. Yes, I don't get Vice. it, but I know it. I've I've been able to watch some of the Dark Side of the Ring episodes. Okay. Uh, on on YouTube, you can find the full episodes of some of the older ones, and you can yeah. watch them. You I might be able a, to find it because it just like it just movie. aired. It just aired Abdullah the Butcher on uh, Dark Side of the Ring. I mean, uh, I, honestly, uh, like, I, I have mixed feelings about Abdullah because uh, he he was there when a wrestler who had, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Bruiser Brody. Yes. yes. You have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. He, he, was, he was there when, uh, you know, this, this man was murdered, you know, in the. The Invader won. Yeah, he was he was murdered in um, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, yeah, yeah. and uh, he was there, and uh, I feel like he knew he knew something, but he he kept it to himself. Yeah, like he didn't, yeah, you know. Yeah, the only one there's been a couple of folks in that that were there that night that had been vocal, and that's Tony Atlas and uh, Dutch Mantel. Yeah, they've been vocal. Yeah, they have, but uh, even like. Uh, I don't know. Like, I guess he's he's got ties with Carlos Colon and every. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah I, 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 it's a real touchy subject. I'd it say. Really is he got he basically got away with it? Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, it's really it's a sad thing. You know, he's he's uh, I actually had met Bruiser. He was he would come into Atlanta periodically and work this circuit for a little while and move on to another. He was. You know, you have certain ones that stay in an area, and then you'll have certain ones that travel all over the place. And he was one of those that traveled everywhere. Oh, I see. Uh, like, uh, and like Andre the Giant, he would travel everywhere. Wow. You know, and yeah, and he would spend maybe a couple of three weeks in one particular area working, and then travel on to another spot. And all. and I, I actually met Andre. You met Andre? I did. I did. And he, man, you talk about big. Whoo. Wow, he's Andre. Yeah, he he was in a match. He had a handicap match. That was all he ever wrestled back then was handicap matches where he'd go up against two or three nobodies. Yeah, yeah, and pin them all at one time. <laughs> so, 
Because if he laid across you, you were not throwing him off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <were> not, <laughs> you're done. You know, if he's laying across you, he, you're done. Wow. And these guys, you shook his hand and everything? like oh, Yeah, shook his hand and everything. He swallowed up my hand like you wouldn't believe it. I'm, I don't have small hands, but I don't have huge ones either. But, man, it was – I. I saw him drinking beer in the dressing room and he was holding a 12 ounce beer in his hand and you, you couldn't see the can. You couldn't see. <laughs> it, it, it was inside the hand. You could not see any part of that can that sticking out. Wow. Wow. That's, that's crazy. I mean, uh, and he, he could drink, he could put it away on. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. He was, he was legendary with some of his and I've, he, he called everybody boss. I remember him calling everybody, Hey boss. Hey boss. Wow. Wow. That's great. Yeah. He, you know, everyone's got so much great things to say about Andre. Yeah. Andre is a legend, you know, he was, and, uh, he was so friendly. Now, now one of the couple of the other wrestlers on there told me that, that was, that were working. And they, they said, I said, is he, how is it up against him? Because, I mean, when he hits you, it's got to hurt. And he goes, they go, yeah, it hurts. It hurts like hell. And they said, but Andre, he doesn't, he wants to sell the match. He, Andre is a big uh, thing for, you know, he wants to get the match over. He, you know, put it over, you know, sell it. He doesn't, if you get in there and you just kind of limp, limp it around and don't do anything, Mm -hmm. He said he'll tear you a new one. He'll he'll tear you up if you get in there and you work with him and all. You'll you'll fare much better. Wow. Yeah. I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember him in uh, Macho Man. Like he he couldn't stand Macho Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He couldn't. Yeah. And I don't know if you ever knew Ole Anderson. Yeah, Ole. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it wasn't real friendly. <laughs> that, no, was he, he, a, that was not a friendly man. Really? And a lot of the wrestlers didn't like him. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, it, yeah, he, he, uh, I never had any issues with him, but he wasn't, it wasn't somebody that the other wrestlers had a lot of respect for in the ring. Uh, they, they respected him in the ring, outside the ring. They didn't care for him. Oh, okay. It, it said, uh, Dumbass, did you ever have any beef with any superstars? Nope, not a one. Not a one. Not they one. were all nice, and I never had a single problem with them. They did, you know, they were real easy to get along with. Nice to meet you, Tori, too, Rorito. I got, boy, I got tongue tied on that one. Yeah, Rorito. <laughs> like Dorito. It's yeah. Rorito. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I. No, they, all, they were all nice. They were all real nice. That's good. You know, even I, I, even Ole Anderson, while he's not a nice person, he was always nice to me. Oh, that's good. That's and good. That's all I asked for. And I made sure that I did not make not one of them mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I mean, yeah. I, I ain't afraid of nothing, but I, they scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, and back in the day, you know, it's different than today because back then they were trying to protect the business. Now, like, everyone knows, like, the hats, you know, hats out of the bag, you know, and yeah. uh, they drew the curtain back and they, you know, they pretty much, everyone knows the show now. So right. it's like, you know, yeah. the turning you know, when that turning point was? Oh, at, at, in Madison Square Garden, right? And, uh, when they started, when they pulled the curtain back and let you see it, Vince McMahon did it himself. He did it himself. And when and when they had the uh, uh, big steroid stink in the in the WWE or oh, WWF right. at that time, yeah. and they uh, he he went on and said, "It's sports entertainment. We're not. We do sports entertainment. We put on a show." And he he pulled the curtain back as a part of his defense. That's what he did to part of his defense, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then from that point on, you know, it was, you know, everything's been wide open. And it's been, what's amazing is everybody knows it and knows how it's done, and they still love it. And oh, that was, yeah. That was what the big worry was is are you going to sell it? 
can you sell it if everybody knows that it's scripted, so to speak? You know, when they say it's scripted, the only thing that's scripted is the outcome. Yeah. Because it's, you get a veteran in the ring against a young one and they're going to, the, the veteran's going to, he's going to lead that match and he's going to tell that younger wrestler what to do. Oh you know, yeah. Get, you know, throw me against the ropes and do me a, do a backflip, you know, give me a backflip or hit me with a flying drop kick or, you know, whatever. And, you know, you know, and he's, he's guiding the pace of the match. And, oh yeah. And, you get one of them gets winded and out of breath and all else. They put me in a headlock and so he can catch his breath and be done, you know, and because <laughs> you know, I asked one of them, I said, what do you do when you get really worn out and tired and you've been running back and forth across that ring? He said, that's headlock time. <laughs> I said, really? And he goes, yeah. He said, that way you can catch your breath and get a few little breather and then just start at it again. Oh, yeah, you know these guys. These guys today, though, man, they, they're like uh, Olympic athletes. Like they, they don't even like they hardly stop in the ring now. Like they just keep going and going. Like it, it's pretty wild. Yeah, I, I don't believe that anything with Vince McMahon is a is a coincidence. I think he plans everything. I think he's got everything. He he is a man. He manages it all. He you know. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, you know, he's asking if there was a, if it was a coincidence like the steroids, yeah. but I, I don't, I don't think anything's a coincidence with that man. Yeah. No, he, he knows what he's, he knows what he's doing. He does. Yeah. <laughs> he does. And I remember in the, in the mid seventies, I guess it was, I was still in high school and we had Georgia championship wrestling and Gordon Soley was doing this. He did the show. He was a, a commentator for the TV show, and he would take uh, when they did the TV taping, and he would do that. And well, anyway, they uh, one week it's Gordon Soley and all this, and on the next week it's Vince McMahon and a whole new bunch of wrestlers. And what he had done is he had bought out Georgia Championship Wrestling in that week, and wow. everything was gone. Wow. And and it was all Vince McMahon and his wrestlers. Wow, and that, that was when wow. he was taking over all the regional shows, all the regional alliances, and so forth. He he ate them all. He just gobbled them all up and created one mega thing. Which even after he defeated uh, economically and and all and ratings wise, WCW he realized he had to have uh, something as a competition. Mm-hmm. And so he created the SmackDown and Raw. Oh, yeah. Uh, back and forth with each other. I mean, and then he also uh, kind of gave his blessing to like ECW and that kind of stuff so that they could and he used them like a farm team to bring folks up from and Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yeah, he's yeah. he's he's very. Uh, I'd say he's he's very uh, ahead of the curve. You know, Vince. He he's, really he, is. He, yeah, he's looking at all types of things. You know, he harnesses all types of momentum. Like, uh, yeah, he forget it. Like, I mean, he takes advantage of like social media. Like, mm-hmm. uh, like it's wild. Like, uh, he he doesn't like. He's got a whole bunch of. Um, personnel like uh that posts like endlessly uh, like videos everywhere like every single day it's not a day that goes by that you know nothing's posted or even like a few hours that goes by like he's constantly posting 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 and you know that's that's really you know that's 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 really something to look up to i mean i say if uh if you really wanted to really make it I mean, it it takes a lot of um, perseverance, uh, and you know, you got to post a lot of stuff. You know? <laughs> right, right. And and he, uh, we got King L. Moxley. He says uh, AEW is not competition. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. All I'm, but he's got to have the air of competition, the the, the feeling that there's competition, 
he wants that because he believes that will make what he's doing uh, better. And yeah. I agree that it, that a, it, AEW is secondary to it, but it it still gives him something that he can hold there as to push his guys. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I and you know, uh, t- to be honest, yeah. I mean, um, I, I was a fan uh, throughout since I was like, I don't know, three or four years old. And, uh, I remember my first, um, memory was like Andre and Hogan at WrestleMania three. And, yeah. uh, yeah, like that was, that was wild. And, uh, all the way till today, I mean, that's a long time, you know, like 30, 37 years in the making. <laughs> it's yeah. wild. Yeah. Yeah. And to think, you know, it's come out now that, they didn't know what Andre was going to do until Hogan did it because how he would respond. Cause you know, Andre, he's, he was, uh, he was a very proud man and he, they didn't, it was a mystery right up at the point where he slammed him and pinned him. It was a mystery, you know, as to how Andre was going to take it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, but yeah, Andre, you know, he knew what was best for the business, I guess, you know, he, um, Mm -hmm. he did what was right. And yeah, I mean, but yeah, it could, he could have said he didn't want to do it and it did it, you know, and and what nobody going to stop him if he didn't want to do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's true. It's true. He's he's something. That guy. Yeah. He was a giant. I mean, uh, geez. I mean, I, I, I wish I met. I wish I met him, but I, I never did. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's great to hear that you met him before. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, but is there uh, is there anything that you would like to um, leave these guys with, with uh, any inspiration or anything like? Because these guys, these guys are wrestling fans too, and they like health, and fitness, and. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, any, anything at all you could think. You know, if, if you want, if you are in need of getting healthier, find what works for you. Keto works for me. Keto works for Matt. May not work for you, but you can find there's something out there. And don't think that you've got to do keto one particular way, the way I do it or the way Matt does it. Keto is done the way that works best for you. And so, you know, the key is just find what works for you and go with it and push it, you know. And you may have to experiment to find that point. Start out mm-hmm. with one thing and end up with something totally different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, very well very well stated. Yeah, I mean, it's all about finding what works for you and um, you got to go by the way you feel, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's no oh, we one got- way. Oh, we got uh, Rorito, actually. He wants to pop on to say hello to you, Mike. Okay. Yeah, so let's get Rorito in here. How's it going, Mike? Hey, I'm good. How are you, Rorito? I'm doing really well. I enjoy everything you've done telling all of us about your keto experience. And it's thank greatly you. appreciated. You're welcome, and thank you for being so nice. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Just sorry about so many questions. I'm a broadcaster, so I like yes, asking uh, questions. Matt can I tell you that. I, yeah. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And if I don't know the answer, I'll tell you I don't know, but I'll find out what the answer is. I'm, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> Matt will find it sooner or later. I, I told him about that thing that you were talking about, the Georgia Championship Wrestling thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was Black Tuesday or Black Thursday in uh, in wrestling one time. Yeah, I remember I talked to him about that. Yep, yep. Yeah, because they, you know, you're in Puerto Rico. Yep, absolutely. They, in the nineteen early nineteen eighties, uh, there was a show here on Saturday nights where they had Joe Petticino. He was just the person who was emceed it. He would have uh, different wrestling uh, alliances that do their shows and he would be like there would be like six hours of wrestling all night saturday night and one of them that he would do would be from puerto rico and it it was it was always fun to watch those matches because they 
matches in Puerto Rico are different from matches in the U.S. Matches in Mexico are different from... We're Indiana very, Mexico. very hardcore out here. Exactly. I can tell you that from Backlash, right, Matt? Yeah. 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 We live it like if it was for real. Right, right, exactly. There, there's no uh, no doubt about that. It's and and wrestling in it's in Mexico is different from both of the other two kind. One's in America and one's in in Puerto Rico. It's it's a whole unique style. Yeah. Absolutely, we we greatly appreciate what all the wrestlers do in the states, all over the world, anywhere, because. Yeah. We appreciate what they do for us because it takes skill and talent to see what they do. Because not everybody can be that skillful in the ring and outside the ring. Right. There was a, what was the guy's name? Uh, the guy that did the, he did the broadcast of, on, of uh, the, the Puerto Rican show. Uh, uh, Hugo, 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 Hugo. Hugo. That's oh, it. wow. Yeah. yeah. He was, I can still remember, he had this distinctive voice. And I found out later on that he was married to Wendy Richter at one time. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Absolutely. He, he married her after WrestleMania. And he was the booker in Puerto Rico. And he also did the broadcasting in Puerto Rico as well. And he was yeah. the manager for Abdullah Butcher in Puerto Rico. So oh, think wow. about that. Oh, man. Yeah. That's something. I, I got yeah. a clock from him. I met the guy... At a charity benefit show, uh -huh. he was doing a show, and I won a clock that he was prized from WWF at the time from McMahon for winning employee of the year. And uh, I got a clock for $50, oh. and it's autographed by the guy. Oh, wow. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Matt can tell you, I'm not just a broadcaster. I, I get autographs from anybody and everybody. He does. He does, I yeah. <laughs> I got no trouble believing it. <laughs> Considering I talk so much and I do so many questions, that's how I get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, Mike, I want to I want to thank you so much for uh, for joining us, and uh, you know, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you very you. much. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Absolutely not. No, it's it's been a pleasure to have you on, and. Uh, and we got to do this again real I soon, agree. too. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I love talking Thank you for having Matt on your show, too, Mike. Oh, yes, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. I love Matt. Matt, Matt. Matt's been a good friend for a long time. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Yeah, much appreciated. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. I appreciate it. Anytime, Mike. You. Well, I'm going to so you can do it with some others. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> be safe. Be well, Mike. Take care. Thank you so thank you so much. Bye bye. Right. That was Keto Mike. Welcome to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, the headliner of the show, Keto Mike. Well, it's great, great having him on here. Man, you had the headliner on first tonight. That was the first time in history. <laughs> first time. <laughs> wow, the headliner came on first. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, I know it, it, it's never happened before, but hey, you might as well try it once, you know, see how it goes. And yeah, I mean, it's great to have him. Yeah, it was great to have Mike on. And uh, yeah, it, he's he's been on the, this channel for years, and you know, it's it's great to have him. Awesome. Who's yeah. the next victim? The next. <laughs> well, first, let's get a word from uh, a former Hall of Famer or a, uh, a current Hall of Famer who's been inducted before. Michael Baroni. Hey. What's going on? Hey, What's up? Up? What's up? I want some cookies from you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Mike? Not much. Um... Did you respond to my message on Instagram saying I could hop on and say hi? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, no. Did no you, he didn't. He didn't allow you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Yeah. Well, then, <laughs> did, did you respond to my message? Oh, uh, I don't. I think I did. Didn't I? Did I? Uh, yeah. Right. But I want to make sure I wasn't a fake one. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of fakes going around, so you got to be careful. Yeah. 
Yeah. I can tell you. I can tell you the message, or I can send it to you even. Yeah, send um, it to me. I mean, I, I, I think I responded to you. I think, uh, I think. Yeah, so. it says you were. It says you were active an hour ago. No, this was at. You see, it doesn't it say what time. It it could have been. Yeah. Hey, I, I mean. hey, I'm another Hall of Famer. Hi, how are hey, you? Hey, hey, you Mr. Okay? Gonzalez. How you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. oh. Hey, Mr. Gonzalez, how are you? Very good. And you? Oh, good, good. How's everything going? Oh, have you behaving? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's everything going? Oh, hey, Matt. Hey, Marody. Do you need two co hosts? LOL, you like me and Rory, or I mean, you you can stay on if you like. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, I'm always asking, man. Hey, it's always a pleasure to have you, man. Let's, let's get let's get Rorito on. That's what happens when you actually misbehave. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, he, was saying, he he was saying bye to you. Bye. Oh, all right. Good night. <laughs> Great seeing you. Hey, man. <laughs> You remember the 2005 Armageddon? Yeah, what about it? Oh, you got it with Batista? Yep. That's awesome, bro. How, how many DVDs do you have? Well, I got four new ones from either yesterday or the day before. Armageddon. Um, this one, Fastlane 2015. Wow. Wow, that's then, so cool. Yep. And then Extreme Rules and Payback 2016. Okay, wow, that, that's awesome. So, like we always said, who's the next victim? Well, you're, you're right. not going to be on, Maroney, because I'm going <laughs> to kick you out. <laughs> well, we we're on the same team, man. It doesn't matter. It's Hall of Fame time, so I don't care. Yeah, but technically I'm a current Hall of Famer, so... Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You're a current Hall of Famer? <laughs> 2022. I was the headliner. Yeah, Roy, the Undertaker. He was and, the headliner, Rorito. And, and I have more dibs than you because my family is the first royal family to be all three triple crown Grand Slam winners. Yes, yeah. Sir. You know, oh, and I, I want to say wanna... something. I want to say something before I keep rubbing it in. Thanks to you and Moxley. Thank you. Thank you. That's thanks to you guys. Yeah. They, te teamwork uh, makes the dream work. <laughs> it's a rough month for me, man. Well, don't worry, Moroni. We're, we're here for you in support. And don't worry. You're going to get you're gonna get through it. Thanks. Don't worry. I'll buy you plenty of uh, handkerchiefs and diapers. <laughs> <laughs> so you can change well, them. But don't okay. worry. I'm, I'm just joking with you. I know. <laughs> the next victim, because next we don't one. have all everybody's yeah. uh, Do you mind, me, do you mind me staying on? No, What's we mind definitely. We can't have more than one co-host right now. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, uh, we'll you can get on. We'll bring you. We'll bring you back, Maroni. All right. All right. We'll see you soon. See ya. Okay. All right. Well, uh, our next inductee, Rorito. I know. Uh, he, he, he was able to become Triple Crown Grand Slam champion, the fastest out of everyone that's ever competed for trivia in this stream. And you know him very well, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know him. Who is it? Everybody, join us in unison in welcoming the next inductee into the Keto Wrestling Hall of Fame. Give it up for... Alexander, that is incredible. That's the best Hall of Famer I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk in behalf of that little boy. Uh, that little boy is special to my family, and we're thankful for Matt allowing him to be a Hall of Famer and all the people who made it work for him to get Triple Crown Grand Slam. And uh, we're just thankful to have him 
join the royal family in the Hall of Fame. Yes, yes, and uh, well, I mean, you, 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 you guys are becoming a, a, the most decorated family that the stream has ever had. I must say that. I mean, uh, very, very impressive, you guys. And hey, you guys, you guys did it all. You guys truly did it all on the stream. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. uh, so what were you saying? Oh, I said, uh, you you guys have truly did it all. Your you and your family. I mean, you guys have uh, really done it. You went, all of you went to the top of the mountain and back. And uh, you know, it's not many. Shame, uh, it's a shame that Rory retired from trivia. And uh, like I said, I'm really retired. I'm not donating anymore, guys. You guys can enjoy your time. Mr. 31 and 36 is not going to be doing it any, any longer, but it's good to have a good time. And it's great to have my nephew, seven years old, win Triple Crown Grand Slam and be in the Hall of Fame as well. Thanks to you, Matt. Thanks to all the people who made it possible. And it's great to actually have a community that actually we can enjoy. Oh, That's yeah. That's what we're here for. To enjoy. Yeah. We don't want no fighting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, it's always a pleasure to have you and your family on the stream, Rory. But hey, if you ever want to jump back in trivia, go right ahead. You know, it's you, you, you can jump back in anytime you want. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Somebody might jump in probably, but it's not going to be me for when uh, when they want to get the hundred thousand belt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> be warned. Be very warned. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, uh, it's not gonna be me. Oh, okay. You, you guys well, saw him earlier. Uh oh. Did I say uh -oh. something? Uh oh, you might have. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would well. be million dollar man. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got spoilers here, but uh, <laughs> hey, you never, you never know what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> You never know. And like I said, it, I, I enjoy practically being here. And I want to say thank you to everybody who's always been supportive, even though my family has been through a lot of trials and tribulations with the stream. But as you can tell, it helped us grow more for our oh. whole family to enjoy the stream. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, it's, oh, it's a pleasure to have you on the stream, you and your father and Alexander, everybody, Rory. Thank you. And as you can tell, you, you talked to my dad before, even on camera, so people can see he's really real. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. lie about that. So I just want to say thank you guys. Enjoy having Alexander here whenever he comes back. Because obviously he's just a little boy, like I said, and thank you. Anytime. Well, Alexander, welcome to the Hall of Fame. And you have taken your rightful place in history. Thank you, Alexander. Alexander. And now we move on to our next inductee. Everybody, join us in unison in welcoming the next inductee into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Give it up for Roger Jr. Right, you're hey, Matt. How's it hey. Going, man? Good. How you doing, bro? Good, man. Good. Good. What's going on? Not much. We're live streaming here from Lead Rock at Whiteface in Wilmington Lake Placid, New York. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, that's great. Wow. You, where are you guys? You're in the great room? Yeah, we're in the great room right now. Yeah, bro. Wow. Wow, this is Johnny Boots. Hey. Get it right. <laughs> Yo, hey. what's up? Yo. Every day is a party here at the Ledge Rock. No matter what, 24-7, 365. That's right, man. Wow. This is the gray room. Show them the gray room. We got a table, ping pong table. Check wow. I'll we'll give you the whole screen there. Let's check that out. Wow, look at that. Look at all! Look at all this. 
Look at this, guy. You guys got to go check out the Ledge Rock all, in Wilmington. It's all be yours. Everything's for sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, every little thing, every little nook and cranny. Gonna have it's all, get, give me a couple thousand for that. It's all for sale? Really? Sale, yeah. Dude, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have rooms for sale, though. 20 rooms for sale. If you heard it on Matt's stream, 150 a night. Wow, that's good. Well, yeah, that's that's a good deal. We're giving good deals out here on Matt, Matt Keto and wrestling streaming. Absolutely, best. that's a great deal because usually they're one ninety nine plus tax. Yeah, one one forty nine ninety nine. And they have they have a fire pit outside. Brand new barbecue spot outside. Fire pit outside. Lean twos outside. Can't wait to see everybody. Yeah, you guys, you guys got to come check it out, Ledge Rock, and uh, we we definitely it's one of our favorite uh, travel destinations to go to, and you know, get out of the city, and uh, it, it's so amazing, you know, uh, up there. And yeah, I mean, I, I, how how is it up there? Is it still cold? No, it's nice up here, man. It's nice and clear. You see the mountain every day. It's probably. Right now, it's like high 60s, low 70s, but it'll warm up. Give it a week or two, it'll warm up. It's been warm all summer, so it's a nice little cool down right now, actually. Well, that's Thank good. You. That's good, yeah, because over there, it gets kind of cold in the winter. But, uh, yeah. hey, it, it, it's it, it's a nice, you know, it, it's a nice getaway, though. You know, uh, very nice views, and it's, it's beautiful up there. It's uh, uh very, very fa family friendly resort. We love having Matt and Johnny Boots up with their whole family. It's always a great time. Yeah, yeah thank you. Right. I, I, we appreciate you guys having us. You know, and we're, we're planning to go up there again, uh, probably in a few weeks or so. So we'd love to check it out again and uh, have a good time. Always That's something new. That's why we do it for the connections, man. We meet a lot of good people that come through here, just like this. I wouldn't be on the stream if they didn't come to my hotel. And now yeah. we're <laughs> <laughs> and now yeah. I know, now I know. That's right. Yeah, you never know. You never know uh any of these guys, they may they may be in upstate New York, need a hotel. Hey, they, they know the lead drop, you know, and uh it's a place, you know, this this is a place to go to. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean uh but but how did how did you find the stream, Roger Jr.? Well, I started uh, once you guys started coming up here, and then I was, I'm also into wrestling. I'm not so much into keto, but John, Johnny Boots here showed me your channel, and then I started subscribing and watching both of you guys. And uh, excellent content, great content, very constant posters. You know, you guys are always on time. When you say you're going to do the stream, you're going to do the stream, always releasing new videos. And now you guys are killing it with the shorts, you're getting mad views, mad likes. Yeah. yeah you're killing it, man. Hell yeah. Hella subscribers. I see I see you guys are blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> coming, it's coming. I can see it. Yeah, it's 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 gonna happen, you know, it's gonna happen. And uh and you know, hey, uh the good thing about it is you know, we we are gonna blow up and then everyone around us will blow up too, you know, like everybody. That's right. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, it's gonna be like Hollywood over yeah. here. Yeah, it's gonna turn into yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be new Hollywood, watch. Yeah, yeah, right. We're probably gonna come here. Yeah, you never know. You never know. And uh, and then uh, these guys could find your 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 hotel, and uh, it's it's such an amazing time up there. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll come up there soon. And uh, hey, you never know what's gonna happen, right? Everything everything happens for a reason. And yeah, it's it's such an amazing time, you know, meeting you guys. And uh, but. How long you guys had the hotel for? Uh, we've now owned it for about eight years. Eight years? Wow. Yeah. We've done – We we've been uh, remodeling and re renovating, you know, little by little, but the place has come, come a long ways. If you've been coming here for a long time, you see the work we're putting into the place. It's uh, it's really taking making change and all for the better, looking better and better every day. Yeah, I mean I... – yeah, you you guys are really uh, remodeling that place. Like, uh, it, it's really really nice. I mean, uh, the views too. I mean, it's just it's just breathtaking up there. I mean, uh, 
it must be a dream. It must be a dream to live over there and just get all that scenery, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, never-ending dream, man. I'm daydream. Uh, yeah, you know us. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is it, right here. Dino man, it's in uh, Wilmington, New York. It's called the Ledge Rock Hotel. Yeah, it's That's called it. the Ledge Rock Hotel. Wilmington, New York. You got it. Whiteface Mountain is a popular worldwide known attraction around here. It's a ski mountain from uh, the Olympic ski mountain from 1982. And they actually had the Olympics here again in 1932. Yeah. I mean, you think you ever think the Olympics are going to come back? Hopefully, we're all everybody here is hoping we could use the business boom. It's slowed down. The last business was at its peak during the last Olympics. It's ever been a little bit downgrading, not not terribly, but uh, the Olympics came back here. Forget that they would make. Yeah, no, this town would be crazy. I, I be insane, right? I'm hopeful that they do come back one day. Yeah, definitely. And I do believe. I do believe. Last year we had the Fizu University World Games, which was like. Next biggest event next to the Olympics, which came back last year. So if that tells you anything, maybe they're prepared to see the capacity for a bigger event, which is would be the Olympics. You know, man, it would be insane over there, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, that would, that'd would be, be crazy. We just had even the Iron Man, which is a huge yeah, event. Yeah, just that had Iron Man here. Packs the town, so more events. Yeah, but I would only bring generate more business for all these small businesses around here and. Yeah, everybody would love to see the economic boom it would bring to this town, the surrounding towns. Yeah, I mean, uh, what I like is that, uh, you know, the the breakfast spot near you guys, like they, they even like they bake their own bread, like they uh, they, I mean, everything's well, like like homemade, <laughs> like everything's homemade there, pretty much. Like it's 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 like really going back in time and uh, portable too. Yeah. yeah. Great, great restaurant variety, all fresh, homemade food, a little bit from a bunch of different places from the world, but um, a lot of Italian food, American food, and we got our own, a lot of breweries up here. So there's Big Slide Brewery, Lake Placid Brewery. There's a couple more, I think, Black Brook Brewery, but those are all breweries in town that brew their own beers, and they're all known across the country. Very, very famous breweries. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, it's just... Uh... And you don't get yeah. sick here. You don't get sick. I mean, everything is so fucking fresh. It's it's beyond belief. I mean, like w w when I travel on the road, usually I get you know it's garbage. But over here, they actually actually take care in preparing their foods. And like I, I've you know I was on the road just today. Went to Blue Mountain Lake. They had a Rondek museum, and the food there was 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 good too. Everything up here is just fresh. I haven't gotten sick once. Knock on wood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we have we have a Bigfoot hunter in the chat too. I don't know if he's still here, uh, Danny. I know he he's very interested with uh, places upstate New York because uh, he he apparently said there's a lot of sightings up there of Bigfoot. Can you uh, <laughs> confirm? <or? laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. I've never sighted a Bigfoot. I'm not closed off to the idea that they're out there. They, they don't exist or all that. I'm still very open-minded, but uh, I personally have not had any encounters, any sightings. But I don't know. I do know of people around here that have, but I'm I'm not that person to, <laughs> to <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I, I hope they're out there. That'd be they're a cool, cool creature. We hear cool stories about them. When the nice ones, you know, cause sometimes it's, they get violent and attack. <laughs> yeah. you. We, we don't need that. We, we don't need that here, really. But, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> the other guys, those, those guys are cool. They're friendly. They're friendly. <laughs> <laughs> they're friendly. friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones that can get along with everybody in harmony, you know. Those are... But anyways, they're... yeah, I, I do believe they're out there. I hope they're out there. And they and they vote Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's just uh, it's just amazing, you know, to be up there. And uh, you know, I, I want to thank you so much, uh, 
Roger Jr., you know, for uh, accepting the induction. You know, I much appreciate it. And uh, I hope I hope to see you guys soon, you know, in the next couple of weeks or so. Definitely love to come check you guys out again. And, yeah, definitely hang out, you know, have a good time. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much for having me on the induction stream. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys, too. Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Hey, take care, man. Have a good night. Uh, you too, Roger. Thank you. Thank you so much, Roger Jr. It, it's Johnny Boots. Johnny Boots. What? You better come up here. You better give him his plaque. He wants it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, when I come up, I'm going to bring it. He deserves it. He works his ass off. Yeah, I'm going to bring the he award. Really? Look how skinny he is. <laughs> <laughs> Help him. <laughs> okay, hey, don't worry. Hey, well, yeah, I'll come up. I get big. Definitely. Yeah, when I come up, yeah, we're going to have a great time. Okay, all right. You guys, I, make sure you subscribe on, on Matt Trice Keto Wrestling and Johnny Boots every day, 24 7, never sleep, seven days a week, baby. Woo! Living life on the edge of a lightning bolt. Let's get it. Woo! That's right, Johnny Boots. Peace. Be safe, be well. And that was Roger Jr. He was the owner. He's the owner of the Ledge Rock Hotel, upstate New York, and Wilmington, New York. You guys got to check it out if you're in upstate New York. What's up, Z? What's going on? Smoking Bears, what's going on? How you doing? What's up, brother? What's up, Dino Man and Johnny Boots? Okay, let's welcome our next inductee into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Our next inductee. Uh, actually, they're in the chat. If you would like to, if you're in the chat and you're being inducted, please come on the chat, say hello, and... Uh, for the next inductee, okay, the next inductee into the Keto Wrestling Hall of Fame. Here we go. Everybody, welcome in unison. The next inductee of the Keto Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2023, Z. Welcome, Z, to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2023. What's up, Z? Z has came onto the stream and became a Triple Crown Grand Slam champion in less than a month. Climbed to the very top of the mountain and did it all. On the stream, Wrestling Trivia Champion Z, congratulations and welcome to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, Z. Oh, it's okay, Z. I mean, if you want to pop on, you can say hello or you can turn your camera off and say hello if it's up to you. Or you don't have to. You don't have to come on if you don't want to. It's completely up to you, Z, but that's the link if you want to use it. Okay, guys, congratulations to Z, everybody. Z, so Z has been inducted into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Okay. Our next inductees into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. This is the Legacy Awards. The Legacy Awards to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, where we pay homage and honor ones who have fallen. The Legacy Awards. But they have made an impact throughout the years. Everybody, join us in unison in welcoming into the Legacy Legacy Awards of the Hall of Fame. The Road Dog, Sparky Bear. 
and Gizmo. They take their rightful place in history in the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Now, wrestling matches will be posted in the upcoming weeks with the Road Dog Sparky Bear. Just so you guys know, so he was an active wrestler in the IWF, the Road Dog Sparky Bear. So he will be in upcoming videos. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell. So you'll be notified when they come on. What's up, Roger J? Okay, let, let's go on to our next inductee, the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Everybody, join me in unison in welcoming Yuang Lee. Yuang Li has been an integral part in the chat for upwards of a year now. And Yuang Li always shows respect in the chat and makes friends wherever she goes. Yuang Li. Thank you so much, Yuang Li. You are now an elite class of individuals. In the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Yuang Li, thank you. Michael Maroney, thank you for the channel membership. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, Mar Michael Maroney. Congratulations. Okay, our next inductee into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. Everybody, join us in unison in welcoming your boy Yoda, too. Always such a positive member of the chat. Your boy Yoda, too. Your boy Yoda, too. Welcome to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2023. Oh, Gizmo and Sparky Bear, the Road Dog Sparky Bear. Yes, let me talk on behalf of them. So the Road Dog Sparky Bear was courageous. He was a strong Labrador who actually competed in wrestling with all of us as we wrestled in the condo and we competed with one another for tra championship titles. And... The road dog Sparky Bear, he was such a smart, smart dog. I mean, he knew exactly what he was doing. And his nemesis, his arch nemesis was Poppy, which you guys will see in upcoming videos, which will premiere in the immediate future. Just so you guys know, the road dog Sparky Bear. And Gizmo was such a loving soul. This cat was tough. We used to call her Chuck Liddell. Because she knew how to fight, but she was sweet. She was sweet, but she knew how to fight, too. She knew how to do a gator roll, too. Like, she was a, like a pro wrestler of some sort. But Gizmo, yes, yeah, she was sweet. You, you're going to see upcoming videos of Gizmo as well. And our next inductee into the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame... Let's give it up for Garrett Light. Garrett Light, who has been on the stream for so long. And he's also a backyard wrestler, Garrett Light, who has turned pro. He's wrestling in the indies right now, and he's doing great things. Garrett Light, I'm so Thankful for having met you on the stream, Garrett, and you have done such a great job. The sky is the limit for you, sir. Garrett Light, welcome to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame.
It looks like we have Z on. Uh, let's see. All right, Z, well, welcome. Welcome, Z, to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2023. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, Z. Hi. Talk louder. We can't hear you. How are you? How are you, Z? Well, uh, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Uh, what does it mean to you? Pretty good. Where are you right. from? Texas. Texas? How, how did you find Matt? Um, I guess on my home screen. Talk louder, Z. We can't hear you. You got to get louder. On my home page. Oh, that's good. That's great, Z. Wow. Uh, well, what does it mean to you to be in the Hall of Fame? Uh, Well, that's great. You know, uh, well, I appreciate you being on the stream and uh, and you won the Triple Crown Grand Slam. So uh, whenever whenever you want your trophy, just let me know. Right. Yeah, you get a certificate, too, for Hall of Fame, right, Matt? Yeah, you get a certificate for tonight, too, just so you know. If, if you uh, whenever you want your trophy, I'll send you the, the certificate, too. Well, I'm going to go now. Okay. All right, Z. Well, th thanks for popping on. You too. Okay. Have a great night. Thank you. And welcome to the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame. He sounded like he was in Rory's basement. <laughs> or in Rory's dungeon. Let's see. Uh, thank you so much for everything, Z. I really appreciate it. I want to offer Dino Man to see if Dino Man would like to be an honorary inductee for this evening. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. We're, we're going to induct you. Much deserved. Much deserved. All right, Dino Man. Let me play the music. Let's have your speech, Dino Man. Dino Man, welcome. Make it a good one. To the Keto and Wrestling Hall of Fame, Dino right, Man. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for everything you've done, and we wish you the best. And uh, we 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 know you're going to do great things in the future on the stream. Yes, sir. Thank well, you for uh, this opportunity. Oh, anytime, Dino Man. Anytime. Uh, would uh. So you said you found the stream from uh, WrestleMania stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. I was at my grandparents, yeah. and I was just, I couldn't stream, so I just decided to try to find it on YouTube, and I found this. Wow, that's awesome. And you, you actually are a content creator too, right? Like you do videos too. Yeah, I have like around 550 subscribers. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that, keep up the good work. You, you what, what kind of content you post? Um, mostly NFL, WWE, sports related stuff, kind of stuff like that. Well, that's great. Wow, that's awesome. Well, hopefully, uh, you guys uh, subscribe to Dino Man too. You know, because we're all a community. We should all uh, support each other in everything we do. Well. You know, make sure you drop your link in the chat too, Dino Man, when uh, you get a chance. So, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, anytime. You know, uh, just just type the word shout out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, don't worry, Xavier. Everything's good. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's it's an honor to have you in. Also, Dino Man, you will get a certificate now, too, So, because you are in the Hall of Fame now. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So I'll have the I'll have them printed out for uh, next week, so I'll be shipping them out next week. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no problem. Okay, see ya. Okay, bro. All right, have a good night. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Good night. Good night.
There we go. Well, Dynaman, welcome to the Hall of Fame. There is one more inductee. You're right. You guys are right. Something. Thank you so much for reminding me. Yes, there's one more. Uh, I don't see him in the chat, though. Who is it? Brian Schaefer, yes. Brian Schaefer must have forgotten, but he's well-deserved. Welcome again for the Hall of Fame, guys. I appreciate it. Hi. Yep, thank you so good much, night, guys. Night. And Good night, Hannah. Good night, Moxley. Good night, Mike Harper. Good night, Matt. Good night, Matt. Good night, Matt. Maroni and uh, oh my God, no Rorito and uh, thanks for co-hosting with me, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Have a great night, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be on for SummerSlam, so I'll remember I'm going to congratulate the winner. At the okay. end of the night. All right. Yeah, stop by when you can. Good night, everybody. All right. Metro signing out. I'm watching at some point. Good night, guys. I got a full night, night, Matt. I'm having my cone. Good night, everybody. Be safe, brother. You too, bro. Be safe. Be well, guys.